Tonight, cleanup efforts are underway across the Midlands as families recover from the damage left behind from Hurricane Helene. 17 confirmed deaths across the state and at least four here in the Midlands. Well, I am extremely lucky and thank God he is on my side right now. Downed trees. Do not go near a downed power line. Thousands without power. I was terrified. I, I, was, I didn't know what at that point, how bad it was. Destructive flooding. We urge everyone to use caution while cleaning up and recovering from, from the storm. The storm's aftermath and the road to recovery. WIS News at 6 starts now. Live from Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10. News. Good evening, everyone. Glad to have you with us on WIS News at 6. First tonight, state leaders working to assess damage, widespread damage across South Carolina after Helene's overnight destruction. Governor McMaster confirming at least four storm related deaths in the Midlands and the Associated Press tonight reporting at least 17 deaths across our state. According to the governor, two Saluda County firefighters lost their lives in the line of duty and two Newberry County residents died as a result of Helene. The message from officials tonight, do not let your guard down. They say the number of deaths that happen after the storm during cleanup can be just as high, if not higher than those that happened during the storm. Yeah, and power outages are now going to be a big concern in the days ahead. They're also asking people to stay off the roads and away from downed power lines. Our Cynthia Beasley attended the governor's news conference earlier today with state emergency officials. Cynthia, we've seen flooding in a lot of areas around the state. So many trees are down. What are officials saying about those dams, though, that could also be problematic in the Palmetto State? Well, as of this afternoon, there were no reported dam breaches, so that's good news. But officials say they do need to assess more than 200 dams across the state. As soon as that news briefing ended, officials said they were going to be calling North Carolina officials about a dam there. The interim director of environmental services says officials are monitoring the Lake Lure Dam in North Carolina, where there have already been evacuations. She said their initial plan does not show impacts to South Carolina from this dam, but they're looking at the worst case scenarios and they've identified about 15 homes in Cherokee County along the Broad River that could be impacted if that worst case scenario were to happen. I think the important thing here is um, there's 53 river miles from that dam to the border of South Carolina and um, there's also and also it would take about 13 hours but we're going to be overly conservative said the Broad River could crest tonight, so we'll be expecting more updates from them on that. Also a big discussion from officials, power outages, of course. They say about 1.25 million, there are 1.25 million outages in the state. The president of Dominion Energy says they have the same amount of crews out that they did back when Hurricane Hugo hit, and they're hoping to get power back to those who can get power back by mid next week. We've started out, like I said before, with 386. We restored 100,000 customers so far, and we hope to continue to make progress. But you're eventually going to get into neighborhoods, and it's going to slow down to a crawl. So don't expect to see the numbers dive as they're doing today. Now, the leaders of all the major power companies were there today, some saying the damage is the worst that they have seen from this storm. Now, as you know, with past storms, we would often hear from Governor McMaster and these officials in this capacity before the storm hit. I did ask Governor McMaster why there was not a news briefing before this storm hit. We'll have his response coming up at 7. All right, Cynthia, thank you.